Hi guys, uh, Paul here. Um, I've had some requests to do a video of my shave den and uh, because I have so much stuff I'm going to uh, go ahead and break this up into installments and today I'm going to do a video on the uh, brushes. Uh, so um, people have asked me how many shave brushes do I have and I honestly didn't know until I laid them all out here and I thought I had about 20 and I actually have 23 of them so um, I'm going to go ahead and go through those uh, brushes and I'll uh, and uh, and I kind of uh, tell you my thoughts on them as I go through them and I hope you enjoy the video. So here we go. So there the brushes are all laid out um, for you, all 23 of them. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and go through them. I'll kind of go through the Badger brushes first. First off is the uh, 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 Badger and Blade uh, Essentials brush. There's the Badger. And as you can see, it's got a kind of a blue lucite handle. Um, really nice brush, um, nice soft tips. Uh, um, really, this is a very high quality bore brush. Um, next is the, uh, I'm sure you all guys all recognize this one, is the Samoke 620. Uh, again, another awesome bore brush. Um, it's one of my favorites in the Samoke line. I really enjoy the uh, short loft of this brush, and I find the tips to be quite soft. And for me, they were soft right uh, right out of the right out of the gate. I didn't find it to be overly scratchy at all. And uh, this, for a long time, was my most favorite brush, and it, it still uh, is one of my favorite brushes. But uh, um, there's some of the uh, some of the newer brushes I uh, am using and prefer more now. So um, next is the uh, uh, Bylong uh, 13061 horsehair brush. Um, this is the uh, undyed, uh, the undyed one uh, with the natural horsehair bristles. I like to use this for my pigmented creams like the uh, Trumper's Violet um, whoop, Timber. Um, next uh, is the, uh, this is a Sam & Sons two-band silver tip brush. Uh, this was a brush that I won in the Big Shave uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Raffle and uh, it's, a, uh, it's a decent brush. I, I find this brush to be a little bit floppy uh, you know, uh, for me, it, it feels more like a, you know, not so dense silver tip brush um, and uh, really uh, not kind of what I was expecting for a two band badger, but uh, it's a decent brush, but uh, not one of my favorites. Next is the uh, Samoog Owner's Club Boar Brush. This is an awesome brush as well. Uh, really super high quality boar brush, great handle. Um, good size knot, works great with soaps, creams, whatever you throw at it, 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 it works really good. Um, this brush did take a little bit longer to break in than the 620. Uh, it took a, a good, uh, you know, three, four weeks of, of regular use to get this thing broken in. Uh, and now it's nice and soft and uh, a lot of fun to use. Next is the, uh, Samoog uh, Special Edition Owners Club 2012 Badger Boar Brush. Again, a real high quality brush. This thing was really uh, scratchy at first, um, but uh, now that it's broken in, it, it's a lot better. It still has some prickliness to it, but not, not in a, a bad way at all. Next one is the Omega Bigger Bambino. Uh, it's bigger, not because the brush is bigger, but because the handle is bigger. And uh, this is really a surprising little brush. Yeah, this brush was featured in the uh, the Mighty Mighty Might or the Mighty or the Mini Shave Brush Face Off video that I did with uh, paired against that one right there, which uh, you all know is the uh, Wee Scott. And it it it, it held its own with the Wee Scott. Uh, plenty it held plenty of lather, and uh, lathered up the wool fat just uh, absolutely great. It's a lot of fun. Great travel brush. Uh, it could be a great everyday brush as well. This is the Wee Scott, the tiniest brush that I own. Uh, and surprisingly, this brush is, is surprisingly good given its diminutive size. It really uh, works great, even though it's a really tiny brush. Next is the Rooney uh, Super, uh, Super Silver Tip Brush. Um, this is a, a nice fan tip, uh, silver tip brush, really soft, good flow through. Um, it's not super dense and it doesn't have super great backbone, but uh, it, actually, uh, it actually works really well. 
this is an ever ready brush that I re-knotted with a 19 millimeter two band um, a, a golden nib finest uh, a knot and uh, uh, really it's a good brush it's uh, got kind of a smallish knot but it uh, works good really good backbone and uh, really pretty soft tips so kind of what you expect out of a two band badger brush over here we have the new forest 2223 high mountain white silver tip brush uh, nice and dense um, soft as can be really a super soft brush but because of its density and its good backbone it's a great uh, great lathering brush this is a uh, brush that I got at Pancetta this is one of their custom brushes with a golden nib grade A silver tip knot again this is kind of more of a bulb shaped knot um, but it's very soft and it's got great backbone and it's got a really cool handle on it too Samogo Owners Club two band silver tip or two band badger brush um, as far as the two bands go uh, this one is probably the scritchiest of all of them um, but uh, this brush really uh, grew on me uh, quite a bit uh, even though it was kind of scritchy or scratchy at first um, which I wasn't expecting because you know with my other two bands they've, they've all been pretty soft with a good backbone this one is a little bit more scrubby but uh, after I've, uh, as I've used it uh, I've actually kind of grown to like the feel of this brush quite a bit this is a Bob Farber a custom brush Bob Farber is a, a, a guy that makes custom brushes on uh, Badger and Blade and uh, this this is a golden nib two band uh, 24 millimeter two band uh, finest badger knot and it's really it's set at a real low loft I think 44 millimeters and uh, which gives us great backbone and it, it's really nice and soft the uh, tips on there the uh, golden nib two band finest knots are really really great fader two band silver tip fan uh, this is the softest of all my two band brushes but this brush still has pretty decent backbone uh, maybe not as much as say the Bob Farver or the uh, the uh, ones that are coming up here the Shave Max but still a pretty fine brush this was actually the second shaving brush that I got I hadn't really knew nothing about shaving brushes and uh, I was as I've used this I've actually really come to enjoy this brush quite a bit the next two are really probably the my my two favorite brushes right now. Uh, this is the Shave Mac D01 Silver Tip. This is 24 millimeter and it's the their flat tip knot. And this brush is a great face lathering brush. The D01 Silver Tip knots are really soft and they have a fantastic backbone and they work great for face lathering. And this handle, I I love this handle. It's just super duper comfortable. Yeah, this is just a great face lathering brush. It's a little bit funky looking with the, fat, the flat top, but I like that flat top. Uh, I like fans, and this is just taking fans to the next level. And uh, even though it's 24 millimeters, it feels like a much larger brush because there's a lot more bristles coming in contact with your skin. So it, it's a great brush. Next is my other Shave Mac. This is a Shave Mac D01. This is their regular fan, fan, uh, fan uh, top. And... Uh, um, as you can see, compared to the flat top, this actually looks like a bulb, but it is it, it is their fan. Again, it's the same type of handle. This is a, a 173 handle uh, from Shave Mac, and uh, again, super duper comfortable. This is great, got great backbone, and it's a great face lathering brush. Uh, this brush, this is the my 30 millimeter monster brush. Uh, this brush is just ridiculously large and uh, I rarely use it. it. It's it works fine and it's pretty. It's got a nice coal wood handle. It was a custom brush I got off eBay. I thought it would be cool to get a 30 millimeter brush and you know once I got it uh, and started using it, I realized how impractical this was for me. But uh, I still have it and uh, uh, once in a while my wife will use this to uh, uh, for uh, shaving her legs but I, not, not, not my favorite brush. Um, it's just uh, for me way too big so anyways uh, next this is a Simpson Emperor 1 in Super Badger uh, again a fan uh, fan uh, type knot um, 
this brush is really, really soft. It doesn't have the greatest backbone uh, of the Simpson brushes. It, it works good though. It's got good flow through, holds a lot of lather. I tend to use this for mainly for cream. Um, you know, I, I don't I don't know if there's a, such thing as a cream brush, soap brush, but I find that I like uh, a, a brush with a little more backbone for uh, soaps, and uh, so this one I use for cream mainly. This is the Simpson Commodore X3 in Best Badger. Uh, this is a great brush for the money. Uh, uh, in the Simpson line, I think the Commodore uh, range of brushes really is are, are a great bargain. They have super, super dense knots. I think the knots on these w w pr come pretty close to the, uh, the Chubbies uh, at just about half the price of a Chubby. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter knot, same as a Chubby one. And this brush it costs about half as what the Chubby does. And the handle is really quite comfortable. It's a little bit, it, it's a little, not super long, but uh, uh, long enough where you could bowl lather with it if you want, and short enough where it, uh, you can use it for face lathering comfortably. Next is a Chubby 2, 28 millimeter super, or best badge or not. Um, great, great brush, uh, no question about it. It's big. Um, but not unwieldy big like that 30 millimeter brush because of the density and the low loft the, There's not a, a lot of splay with this brush and it really works great with hard soaps This brush com uh, paired with Mitchell's wool fat is really like a match made in heaven. So there's a chubby two Next one chubby one this is probably uh, one of my favorite face lathering brushes as well. Perfect size for me, 24 millimeters, nice and dense, short loft. And the uh, the Simpson Best Badger knots, to me, uh, are, are really where it's at. They are, they're real soft, but they've got a nice scrubbiness to them, so you really feel like you're working those whiskers uh, when you're face lathering. So there's a chubby one. And last but not least, let's not forget the Simpson Classic One. This uh, is a very nice brush as well. And uh, I, I, I kind of call this the, the uh, Ch Chubby Zero. I've seen people call it that on the, the forums. Um, because it's basically like a small chubby. It's a 20, 22 millimeter brush, uh, super dense like the, uh, like the chubbies, but just, just smaller. Great face lathering brush. Uh, again, one of my favorites uh, right now uh, that I have. So, there you have it. There they are. That's my stable of brushes. And uh, so uh, I will be putting together another video shortly uh, with my razors. And then I'll do one with the soaps and creams. And I, I may or may not do one with my aftershaves. There's uh, some of my other junk there laying on the counter. So. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to have to do this install in installments because I don't have enough room on my counter to spread everything out. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, enjoyed that video, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.